Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a makeup inspired video and the makeup, this look that I have on right here, it took me ages to complete. Um, but it's inspired by Bye Brookhill. This is on her Instagram. I kind of, I think I kind of hacked it, you know? Like, it's not too bad. Um, but I quite like it, you know? I'll insert the full HD photo here so you kind of see it and then side by side so you know what I mean. And yeah. It took me a really long time to do this, actually like two hours, probably two and a half hours. Um, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. I just like to match my nails to like, you know, the look so the whole thing pairs up together and looks nice. Um, I did my own nails, so yeah, um, I'm so happy with them. <laughs> um, but yeah, without rambling on and on and on and make this video a whole lot longer, please give it a thumbs up and let's just go ahead and get started. Hi guys, so okay, let's go ahead and get started. I'm using the Maybelline Superstay um, concealer. It's in the shade Fair and it's a very pink concealer, but I'm only using it to correct because I have hyperpigmentation there. As a Latina, we get hyperpigmentation in places, so one place I really get it is in the inner corners and around my waterline. So yeah, I'm correcting, only correcting with it, and I'm blending it out with the Real Techniques setting brush. I can't speak. Anyway. Um, using the e.l.f. camo concealer and the same setting brush, I'm going to use it to have a base and kind of conceal those like little veins and arteries I have on my eyelids. I have really thin skin there, so I don't want that to show up while I have eyeshadow. I always do this stuff. That's how I prime my eyelids. And I just blend it out and don't set it so I could just pack these shades on and it has kind of like a base. Um, so yeah, we're going to attempt to go to that. Um, I don't know how. <laughs> but we managed to get there like eventually a very long time but eventually you know you know <laughs> using the Morphe 35 b palette I'm going to use all the blues as you see there from top to bottom all the way to black on the right hand corner and starting with that bluey shade it just it's the, it's the matte one that the one that's not shimmery and not the deep one you know you saw that one um, I mix it with a little bit of the white shade on the other corner of the palette and I'm just packing it on first now the whole technique throughout this video is to have concealer and pack it on and then blend into wiper motions. Um, I'm using that like nude shade to blend out the top part as a transition shade so it doesn't get too chalky and choppy or whatever. I should have done that first but I didn't so I did that then. Um, but like I said, using the white and then the blue, dipping into the blue, I kind of just packed it onto the lid and then using only windshield wiper motions. I'm sorry I covered the camera there, I didn't see. Um, but I'm just angling the shadow out because it's a very winged out and dramatic look. Um, but yeah, like I said, winter wipe promotions, pack. So it's always concealer, pack the pack the shadow on, and then winter wipe promotions. Repeat, repeat, and repeat until you get the desired effect or the pigmentation or the intensity or whatever. You want. Um, anyway, using the uh, blue shade, it's more like ocean blue. It's like I don't know how to describe the shade. I don't know if you guys know the name, please let me know because I always struggle describing the shade. Um, I pack it on with a tiny, tiny brush and stick to my crease in circular motions and wrap it around my eyeball, I guess, like, just to say that. And then using the same other blending brush that I had, I just blended it a little tiny bit. And now with a concealer brush, I mapped out kind of like the cut crease where I wanted it to go and then filled it in. And then I go in and correct it, match it to the other eye. Like I said, I'm just going to show you one eye because this video was extremely long. I had like three hours of footage. So yeah, making it into like a 15, 16 minute video was insane. <laughs> anyway, using the Jaclyn Vault um, palette, the yellow one, you can see the yellow dots there, and the shade VIP, I kind of mixed it with the blue shimmery shade from the Morphe 35B palette. Yeah, I'm saying a lot of palettes. I used a lot of stuff because I don't have the exact palette that she used. I believe um, she used the Violet Boss palette. Um, but yeah. To make my own combo, I decided to like kind of mix at the beginning but didn't work so I used the VIP only and I packed it on to my lids to have like kind of that shimmer set and then using a tiny bit of the blue shimmery shade from the 35B palette by Morphe, I blended it in and it just repeated it. With very very little product I packed on the shades because I didn't want it to get too intense. Now using the same blue oceany shade that I cannot describe and the tiny tiny blending brush that I used. Um, I'm just packing it on the outer corner trying to blend it in back and forth and obviously with chalky shades and with these colors you need concealer to make them pop so I applied concealer yet again the creamy concealer from the revolution palette you can use any cream concealer or anything thick really um, to get the intensity that you want 
and I just packed it on and stuck to my crease, wrapped it around my eyeball. I kind of had like feel it feels disgusting, but you kind of have to feel like where your crease is. And I went back and forth and back and forth and back and forth between those two steps. Not the concealing, like the blending, the packing, the blending and the packing. And that's essentially what I did for a while. And then grabbing the first blending brush that I used with the blue, the light blue. I blended that out a little bit and using a winged liner brush, it's not called wing liner, it's a liner brush, and a navy blue shade from that same palette, I kind of intensified the cut crease and I used the blending brush, the tiny blending brush to blend it out a little bit and then using the Jaclyn Hill Vault, no, no, that's not the Vault one, the Jaclyn Hill version one, the first palette that she came out uh, with, uh, she has this blue shade that I also don't know how to describe, it's a very odd color. Um, I'll list all the products down below and if you have them, you can have a look. Um, but yeah, I just used a blending brush, packed it out and blended it towards the deepened cut crease part of the eye, if that makes any sense. Um, yet again with the tiny little brush, I'm just gonna start deepening out the shades and making it look how I really want it to be. Um, and then using, like I said, to sharpen everything up, using a concealer, a really thin concealing brush, cream concealer, just deepen, sharpen that and deepen it with the winged liner. Like I said, a lot of deep and sharp and tack on colors because these are very difficult colors to blend. Um, so you have to go back and forth and be very patient. It can look like a catastrophe at first, but you have to be very patient and dedicated for it to look good. Don't give up. <laughs> anyway, um, using the VIP shade again and packing on the colors. So I intensify all those parts. It's starting to come together right there. It still looks really messy. Don't worry, we can clean it up. We can fix it we can blend it's just all about the patience and the dedication if you're gonna do this look especially with blues it's literally the hardest color to use um, out of all the bright pops of color you can use on your eyes um, again I'm using the tiny brush to deepen out the outer part of the crease I'm using a very thin brush here and the reason I'm using this tiny one is because I can control a lot better than a longer and fluffier bristle so yeah, I go into the navies, the darks, go from lighter to darkest gradually in order. And there I used the um, Jaclyn Hill Vault. Why do I keep on saying Vault? The version one palette. I used the black from there and that's where I did a teeny weeny mistake, as you can see, and I could have cut some time there. So now I'm just trying to fix it. Basically what I did is I put way too much black on the outer corner and it looks really, really black and that's not the point. It's supposed to look kind of like navy-ish. I tried to deepen it out, but it didn't work out. So I'm just trying to fix it there. Um, once it got to the desired effect of fixing, I used the blending brush to kind of like blend it out and I was just checking there like, you know, it's coming out, it's coming together, I need to blend all of this out, I mean remove all of this and take all of this off. Um, so I used the makeup remover wet wipe, obviously you can use a reusable one, a more eco one. Um, but I believe it's a lot easier to use these, especially with these looks. And I use my nails to sharpen up the edges of it. They're really good tools if you have nails. You know, I love having nails because they help me out with so many things, including parting my hair and like doing a bunch of stuff cooking too. <laughs> Either way, um, I'm using the, the correcting concealer that I use, the Maybelline one, just on the inner corner again. And I just want to have that pop of color for the yellow. I'm prepping it right there, also correcting. So I'm using the Stargazer 202 Neon Eye Dust. It's a pigment and it actually goes in the dark. Um, and it's just very intense, but you have to be very careful. So I kind of blended it out a tiny bit there, then went with a new wet wipe because the other one was full of blue and just full of the wet. I'm just cleaning it up a little bit because I still have to apply concealer. So I just wanted a base down first. And now I moved on to my face. Now I didn't want to uh, put this on full speed because like I said, this video was really, really long and I'm trying to make it shorter for you guys. I did my basic foundation routine. I used basically the same products. The other thing I really switched up was the fact that I used um, a new foundation, which is the Maybelline Superstay, like the concealer. Um, I quite liked it. I'll, I'll put a video, like a review on it if you guys want it. Um, it's not new or anything like that. But aside from using that and that uh, foundation stick to like bronze and concealer that I'm using right now, I didn't do anything differently really aside from that. Yeah, everything was normal. 
So I'll link all the products in the description box down below if you're curious. I'll film a foundation routine for you guys so you know what I'm doing. But essentially, I do the same thing in every video. My face doesn't change unless it's a specific, a specific look or technique that I'm doing. But yeah, that's my usual foundation routine. I'm just going in with all the products and everything. And now to move on back to the eyes before I start like using highlighters and powders I need to brush away. I need to deepen up the uh, yellow from the inner corner a little bit more. And then going in with another Stargazer powder, I mean pigment. <laughs> well pigment powder, same thing. Um, I use a green one and I use the RCMA no color powder under my eyes to bake. So any of this fallout from bright intense shades does not stay in my face or stay on like the foundation. It's the biggest tip I can give you if you're not going to do your eyes first and you need to do this too. Do bake because you can just flick it off in the end. Going in with that blue shimmery shade again, um, I'm going to do the same steps in the same order just to my bottom lash line. So going from lightest to darkest, I'm going to go from the lightest blue to the darkest blue all the way mixing it with black and navy and everything, packing it on, blending it in. And it's a whole process because I had to also like try to fix the shape, intensify the shade so I'm using concealer again. Um, it's a whole thing, it's a whole process. Um, there. Are I put my eye there. No. <laughs> I almost blinded myself. Anyway, as you can tell, it can get a little bit patchy and you need to blend it out and be careful. So I like stretch my eyes, I close them to see how they look in different like angles and the way I move my eyes. I'm fixing the eyeshadow shape there. So it can, it can look a little bit patchy sometimes. You just gotta be patient. You can fix it. Everything is fixable. Like I said, one of my, well, not one of my, my tattoo artist, um, she said, um, if tattoos, are permanent and they can be fixed trust me any mistake in your life can be fixed aside from that so it's one of the wisest things I've ever been told by the way <laughs> I just thought I'd share it with you guys so even with makeup it may seem stupid but you can fix it um, yeah just deepening in the, the shade there really with the same shades that I used, the black and the navy. I thought, there I was just like judging and I'm like, okay, I think it's a little bit more winged out than she has it, but we can fix it regardless, it doesn't matter. Um, and then I go in with the rest of my face, so I can see on a little bit on top of the um, brow, uh, so I can don't have any blue residue that like flaked up that I didn't put like any baking powder or anything like that. And I go in with the rest of my face. I bronze, I use all the powders, all like, bronzing stuff and my nose contour and my blush and my highlight and everything um so yeah i didn't want to like i said i didn't want to put it in full speed because it took ages it's a normal technique um aside from my nose i did use a uh, setting spray to make it a lot more intense the highlight on my nose i don't usually like it that intense but i'm trying to like you know mimic a look so i also went for the um intensity of the nose highlight because my nose gets blurry so I don't really do that but yeah anywho I went bronzier and I went more intense with the highlight I know it's the editing though I know it's the photo editing that makes it look brighter so I tried to get as close as I could with it um there you can see I'm just doing the final touches after I like you know warmed up the eyeshadow on my under eyes it moves a little bit so I kind of have to fix it jabbing a little bit putting a little bit of mascara on and yeah, I recommend using a waterproof mascara for this. I always recommend it, by the way. But I recommend it specifically for this because with the neon eyeshadows, if you use a non-waterproof mascara, it could transfer onto the pigments and lift them up and a cakey mess could happen. So yeah, try to use a waterproof mascara. Next, using the Primark um, Baby Doll Lashes in the, in the Sev style 730, I think it was. Um, I'm just gonna glue them on. They're very manky and disgusting and old and I'm trying to salvage them because I really like the style, but they are just dying. To be honest, I shouldn't have used them for this look, but I wanted something like intense, so I tried to work with them. I managed to get something out of them, but after this, I'm just gonna, you know, try to salvage them, clean them thoroughly, and hopefully they'll survive. Because <laughs> I can't get any anytime soon. There's no Primark here, and even though I could, we're in lockdown, so I can't get anything from Primark, really. <laughs> I used the Duo Strip Lash Adhesive, by the way. The one with um, vitamins, the clear one. And then using the Kylie... Um, Candy Kate, that was it. That was it. Um, the Candy Kate, Candy Kate lip liner. I thought I was going for a browner, more brownier, like you know, deeper lip liner, and I got it confused with Kylie. Sadly, I realized I don't have Kylie here. I think I, I'm pretty sure I lost it when I was out, like one of the days. Oh, nice clubbing. So I try to fix it there with the Morphe Frenchie lip liner to like blend it out a little bit more ombre because hers is definitely a lot more warm. It's not as pink. So I tried to fix it there. And then using the Superstay in Crayon in the shade Lead the Way, I just applied that in the middle of my lips to join and marry everyone together. 
using the Dior Lip Maximizer in the shade 13. I think it's like nude sunrise or something sunrise. I'll link it down below if you want to purchase it. I highly recommend these glosses. They're not sticky. They're really good. They don't like itch or burn your lips because it's a lip maximizer. One of my friends, Chloe, recommended it. So Chloe, if you're watching, thank you so much. I love them every single day and I can't go back. Yeah, cleaning that up a little bit. I kind of got the look that I was going for. I'm like, I still need a little bit of lightness. So I went with the Buxom lip foundation in the shade Buff. I don't recommend this using like this alone on your lips. You have to use it on something moisturizing because it's hella dry. Um, but essentially that's the look done. I just switched into a dress and threw it on a chain um, to make the look a little bit more like, you know, put together there in front of pose and I massively failed, like massively, because um, the phone dimmed. Um, but yeah, I'm actually quite proud of how this turned out. Look at me showing off like, you know, the look and pose and my nails and like a little stroke of the hair. <laughs> God, so ridiculous. Anyways, I'm actually quite proud of how it turned out. If you do recreate it, please tag me. I really appreciate it. Um, and there was actually just jamming onto my playlist, so... So, that is the end of the video. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you liked it, and I hope maybe if you do it too, and like, you know, see my video, decide to do it, please like, take a photo, or comment, or I don't know, let me know. I'd love to see if you guys do recreate the inspired look that I caught. I mean, you probably already did it from ages ago with her Instagram, because she's a lot bigger. <laughs> she's like, I love being a little bit point being is that if you do tag me i really love to see um my instagram handles and everything about the end screen so you can just check it out you know or check the description box down below I have all my social media and everything like playlist even everything there um but yeah without rambling on thank you so much for watching give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe we're almost at 200 subscribers so please please if you're new and you haven't joined join family please i know you're gonna be watching more so you might as well hit the button down below you know <laughs> so yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!